you know, it's unfortunate, but the entire state is still recovering from those two streams of storms we had across the entire state. Again, as we recover, Olga, we get a few days of sunshine, but it's not going to last too long. No, and I mean, today was absolutely gorgeous. We had temperatures in the 70s, upper 70s for a lot of us. We even had 80 degrees uh, for some places in San Diego County. That, though, is going to be very short-lived because already tomorrow we see the changes, but want to share this spectacular video with you. This is in Orange County. We see a dolphin and a sea lion playing in the ocean. It is was a good day to go out to the beach. Look at that. How cool is that? We were able to capture that on video. And uh, yes, we had temperatures even along the coast in the mid 70s. So it was a great day to be out and about. And, uh, you know, we are actually just about to head into spring. Uh, spring officially begins on Monday. That is going to be March 20th. However, it isn't really going to be feeling much like spring as we head into the next several days. Here is what we are expecting. Uh, some rain uh, for coasts and valleys, one and a half to three inches for foothills and mountains, two to five inches of rain. A lot of snow at the higher elevations, two to three feet at the resort level and accumulations also likely even at past level, especially as we head into Tuesday. Travel disruptions are definitely a possibility. Flooding, uh, mudslides, pot and sinkholes and uh, all that snow as well. So there are a lot of issues we're going to be tracking over these next several days. Already outside right now, we are seeing some cloud cover. Uh, temperatures are pretty mild. Uh, we warmed up nicely today. We'll see some scattered light showers uh, tomorrow, especially early in the morning, late at night and uh, Monday. A lot of Monday is going to be dry, but we'll start seeing some of that rain as we head into late Monday overnight hours and take a look at what it's going to look like for your Tuesday morning commute. So it is going to be widespread rain, heavy at times. We have that snow and those snow levels uh, will continue to drop down as we head into later on Tuesday. And we're looking at a wet weather pattern over the extended period. Here's a look at that future cast showing us that big storm headed our way. Look at that sitting just offshore, moving in on Tuesday and impacting us throughout the day into Wednesday, drying out by Thursday and into Friday, bringing us some gusty winds and some cool temperatures temperatures already by tomorrow in the 60s for most of us. And here's a look at the extended forecast. We're going from near 80 to 50s for a lot of our region as we head into the next several days. Even by Thursday, once that rain is gone, we are still looking at some very cool temperatures and below average numbers. So yes, once again, time to get those umbrellas out. Back to you guys. Well, that thank you. We want to get to a moment to update you on a situation that really does hit home for us yeah. here at KCAL News. Meteorologist Alyssa Carlson was about to start her weather forecast this morning on our newscast when she just fainted. Well, our team jumped into action. They comforted her and helped her while waiting for medical help to arrive. And tonight there is good news. Alyssa now resting. She is recovering. Yeah. And if you follow her, you would see that she posted her thanks on social media to all the people who have reached out. Yeah, and we also want to thank everyone who contacted us and offered their thoughts and prayers. And an update on Alyssa, you could expect to see Alyssa back here on KCAL News as soon as she is well enough. That will be very quickly, <laughs> judging from how she sounded today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. KCAL 9 is now KCAL News. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.